Welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are back again with your weekly roundup of showbiz news, chuckles from the internet, and of course our life lesson. But now let's zoom over to the other side of the desk to speak to the man who thinks every coconut is called Wilson. It's the one, the only, the irrepressible Lee. Hi. I much appreciate that Wilsons, in general, mm -hmm. give their lives up to make bounty bars. It's a selfless <laughs> act. Of... But, yeah, for people to go, I don't want that one. I like, I, oh, no. No, it's the, it's the wrong kind of chocolate. Bounty. No, it's the best one. Not the dark chocolate. No, the just... dark chocolate one is the only one that's no, possible. No, 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 no. Anyway, anyway, that aside, um, I am back with some scandalous showbiz news, including a story about a hugely famous celebrity and their new tattoo. And I've got some bits you may have missed from the World Wide Web, including what happens when you get your lines a little bit wrong. If you want to keep up with our latest shenanigans and foolery, you can always find us on The Cud TV on your social media sites, our website, which is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to all of this as a podcast, just search for Chewing The Cud. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the screen now, underneath my ever-increasingly large man breasts. Um, and now, uh, Matt, Matt, what are you doing? Nothing, nothing. I can't deal with this romper room unprofessional behaviour. It's like working with a three-year-old sometimes, on a good day with a prevailing wind and a clean nappy. Let's keep him amused, peer viewers, by playing the... Game of the Week. This week, the producer quit his job as an ice cream salesman. He says that Mr Whippy's soft serve was nowhere nearly as satisfying as Ben and Jerry's. I know that Lee is too modest to admit that he entered the Guinness Book of World Records for the fastest ever hand pull from a moving ice cream van. And we have his award here. Oh, that's beautiful. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'd like to thank my mother, my father, um, <laughs> my legs for propelling me towards the... Um, Man with the chimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and my ears for hearing it. So while Lee contemplates the best place to put his award, let's have a game of flat pack or fake. So we have, have to work out whether this is something that's a flat pack piece of furniture or whether it's just something that's come from our producer's mind. <laughs> but the first one we have is fartful. Can you get fartful in IKEA? I frequently get fartful in IKEA. It depends if I had the meatballs first and then go shopping uh -huh. afterwards. <laughs> that lingonberry <laughs> juice plays havoc. You want lingonberry again? You've used it as lube and it makes you fart. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, I'm going to say no because he doesn't really sound very Swedish. Do you not think? No, fartful. Fartful does. No. Here's my fartful. See, it does. It would be, yeah. But it's I not got, like, to anybody that's Swedish. For my it Swedish hasn't got any of those little dots over umlauts. any of the words, yes. They're still called umlauts. Or um, a little line. Or a little line. Yeah, sometimes they have a little line, don't they? A little line. Or the accent. Yeah. All oh, right, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, that's what I'm basing my knowledge I think that Fartful on. is available okay. in Ikea. Let's see. Oh, oh, it is from Ikea. Oh. Indeed. Yes. Excuse me while I... <laughs> Rub my turd. Um, it's an ice cream, it's not Ice food. cream! <laughs> it's actually made out of metal. Let's have the next one. Prick tease. Prick tease. Prick a tease. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I have sometimes been accused of that. What, being a prick tease? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I never have. I fully believe that you yeah. never have. Never, never <laughs> once. Never yeah. once in your life. Let's get back to whether it's furniture or not. Mm. Um, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say no. See, I think I've sat on a prick tease before. And, and it was furniture. very comfortable. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I think it is IKEA furniture. Okay. Let's let, let us see then whether it is or whether it isn't. Ha ha! Oh, it wasn't. It's fake. Wasn't it a bit of prick tease then? Nope. Nope. You can, never, you, can, you can never find a prick tease in IKEA when you want one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't Just lay it all one. out there for you. <laughs> um, should we get the next one up? Yes. So this is a, a concos knot. Cocos knot. Cocos knot. Cocos knot. It's got an umlaut on it. It has got an umlaut so on it, which made, yeah, makes uh, me believe it. Cocos knot. Uh, oh, is that, is that what you... Uh, yeah? That's okay. why they have the little dots. Okay, yes, I'm going to say I'm going to say that is a yes. You're going to say a cocoa sn a snoot is cocoa snot snoot snoot. Yes, <laughs> is yeah. an IKEA product. 
Okay. <laughs> what do you think it is? It's probably something really boring, like like a draw liner. Like a draw I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> like a draw liner. <laughs> <laughs> draw a draw liner. liner. Um, <laughs> That's a different type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to line your drawers doing that. No. Yeah. So I don't know. It's probably something really like tiny. Okay. You think it's something tiny from IKEA? Yeah. I don't think it is something from IKEA. I think that the umlaut there is just to put you off. Okay. So shall we see? Let's have a look. Oh, it is. Boom. Ooh. See, the thing with this game is we don't have a picture of the thing afterwards to know what it is. <laughs> no, we don't. Which is a little bit frustrating. And every week I promise myself I'm going to go home and, 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 and Google them. But I never do. <laughs> no. I never do. You're just too busy living your life. I just forget all about it the minute I walk out of the room. <laughs> I, I, I intend to also Google them when I go home, but then mm. gin happens. Yes, yes. And you pass out. Um, okay, let's have another one, because I do believe I'm in the lead at the moment. It's a draw. Uh, no, no, two to me, one to you. Bumerang. Okay, so that, that's what... <laughs> that's quite a nice word to say, isn't it? What, bumerang? Bumerang. 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 It's like, um, like um, a version of Boomerang that the cast of um, The Inbetweeners would say. Right, okay. You thought I was going to say something. <laughs> it's like something that keeps coming back. Yeah, so yes. bumerang. Um, I don't... I don't believe it is. You don't think it is? No. no. I, I think it might be. You think it might be? Mm. What do you think a bumerang might be? I think it's probably something quite long and firm, like a, a, a wooden spoon. Oh, or a, a, low and a low and firm wooden Not spoon. Low and firm. <laughs> Where you keep your wooden spoons. Okay, <laughs> let's... <a> draw. <laughs> With a liner. I've, no, I've, ne <laughs> I've never ever heard anybody describe a wooden spoon as low and firm. That's because I said long and firm. Oh, long and firm. <laughs> Again, that you can get that in the IKEA restaurant, a long and firm. Next, <laughs> to, the, <laughs> next to the long and firm. If you yeah. wait long yeah. enough. <laughs> anyway, let's, please let's just get the answer up. <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh. oh. See, I was right. He was right. Ooh. Yes. Shall we get the next one up? Next one, please. Nips. <laughs> Can you get your nips out in Ikea? Whew. I would imagine nips are a kind of like a little, like, um... Um... <laughs> that, that's <laughs> at me again. again. <laughs> that. Those tiny little screws. <laughs> tiny little Ikea screws that are nips. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're telling me that screwing in IKEA is your nips. Mm. I don't think it is. Well, let's let, let's just. I see. think nibs might be, but nips. Nibs, no. Nibs. Let's see. Oh, it's fake. It's fake. Can't get nips in IKEA. You can't now. I didn't think you could. Sometimes though, it's quite cold if they put the air conditioning on, and my areolas. Mm. Areolas. Is that is that is that <laughs> areola? Yeah. Areola. Lay. Lay. I felt like I was, I was doing, what's that, um, yodelling then? <laughs> what is going on today? Um, what's in your mug? Uh, yeah, pure liquid paint thinner. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. I've just got gin as normal, to be fair. Let, let's, let's move on to the next one. Slot. Once uh, again, stop calling me that word. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer sexually liberal. Although, you know, there is something slightly erotic about going into an Ikea and shouting slot. <laughs> <laughs> really loudly. And everyone turning round. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going, I've just been oh, is just dancing to, me? to slot. Is it me? Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say slot is a real thing. A slot is a real thing. Yes. Is flat pack is the question. <laughs> yeah, I think it is it, yeah. It's a recliner. <laughs> <laughs> With stirrups. <laughs> Straight back, <laughs> whoop! Yeah. And that's your slot. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to say it is. I don't think it is. A, you don't think, think it is? No, I think there are sluts in Ikea, but I don't think you can buy them. Woo! Sluts in Ikea! <laughs> I want to know what a slut is in Ikea. It's one of the people that walk around and don't actually buy anything and like flirt. 
just kind of grind themselves against furniture. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're going to get it later, like footstool. Like, <laughs> like you with the lingonberry jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rubbing cushions across themselves. Okay, um, shall, shall we see? I think, we, I think we need to end it there. I think we should end and it let's there see quite who, quickly. Who is the winner? Let, let, let's do the, the... It's a it's a draw. It's a draw. Oh. oh. The phone. A phone. Hello. No, they're not lopsided. No, oh, right, okay. Um, oh, apparently, a slut is a three-way. Oh. oh. Oh, transformer so you can plug three things in at once. Oh. oh that's a bit less exciting. Bye. Bye. Well, that, that's answered that question. Yeah, I was going to say, but three at once is still impressive. It is. Anyway, still to come, we have another one of our life lessons. And just after the break, it's Lee with the Showbiz News. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we speak to the man who was once grounded when his mum found a copy of the Freeman catalogue under his bed. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. So yeah, she wasn't happy because the um, all the pages were kind of stuck together and it was slightly burnt around the edges. <laughs> right, okay. Why were all the pages stuck together is my first question. Well, you see, when you were... So we're going back to the, my teenage years. Okay. So kind of prehistoric times. Mm -hmm. and was, it, was it on a slate? Yeah. Was, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and when you're a teenager, everything turns you on. Okay. So, you know, you, stuff like the, 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 the male underwear section, uh -huh. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Gardening implements, there's something in it there. <laughs> Even the index, just kind of... <laughs> a list of things you could just buy. Just a list of yeah. numbers. It's great, yeah. So anyway, that, that is, that's a little bit of insight into my world. Let's do some showbiz. So the first thing we're going to talk about is tattoos. Ooh. And celebrities, they like a tattoo, don't they? I, I've, I've heard that some do enjoy a tattoo. Some are more successful than others. Some are very successful, others are not. So. Are not. Um, in the latter character, I'm so excited about it, I can't get it out. In the latter character, <laughs> in, in the latter category, uh -huh. that's the word I was struggling for, is is Katie Price. Yeah. Katie Price and her new boyfriend, which is probably her eight thousandth boyfriend. I was going to say she's been through a lot. She's, of she's had a lot of boyfriends, but what? sort of defines your relationship more mm. than having a tattoo. Not just any old tattoo, but a tattoo of your own faces. So we've got, this is a picture of, of Jordan and her current boyfriend. Mm -hmm. um, there, she's looking devotedly at him. Yeah, well, she's not. She's looking devotedly at the camera. <laughs> she's going, Get so me they, some money for they this have face. had, so he's called Jordan. No, he's not called Jordan. He's called Jordan as well. She's, she's called Jordan. Yeah. Um, I don't know what he's called. He's called Carl. So he's called Carl. Carl with a C or Carl with a K? Carl with a C. Okay. With a curly cur. Um, curly they, cur. Have, they have had um, the initials of their faces tattooed on each other. Okay. Uh, we've, we've, we've got a picture of it. Okay. <laughs> Oh dear. Now his isn't so bad. Hers. But he doesn't look like that. No. Um, it's not good, is it? It's not. It doesn't look like him. It looks handsome. I'm, I'm going to shoot face. right. I think we're dealing with forearms here. Okay. So it's on her forearm. Right. Okay. And his forearm. They they said that no matter. That is this is what what Katie has said. No matter what the haters say, this is proof that we will be together forever. I am so happy to have this commitment to him. Okay. Um, yeah, and he says it's more than a tattoo. It's a tribute to each other. <laughs> <laughs> she just, she just, her, her just existence <laughs> is, is joy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so then, she's, then it, they go on to explain, if anyone doubted their relationship, this is pure proof that they are committed to each other. Okay. So they've had the ink done on each other. Right. Probably next month there'll be kind of like an okay spread, Jordan at the laser removal. Um, or on next episode of Tattoo Fixers. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose if you, you can add features. So when she gets rid of this one, she could perhaps add like a pair of glasses if she goes out with someone with a pair of glasses <laughs> or, a, or a hat. Um, but it made me start to think about, so it's 
made me think about other celebrities and okay. their less than successful, in my opinion, mm. tattoos. Okay. So the first one we've got is Zayn Malik, former member of One of, Direction. Of One Direction. Yeah. So he has had, on his middle finger, um, as, a, as a tribute to the Star Wars franchise, mm. he's had a, a thin lightsaber. Okay. Um, now, <laughs> I thought that was something else that had tattoos on there. <laughs> like going, <laughs> not only is it is it a lightsaber, but it is it is you they used UV ink. Okay. So that it lights up under a black light. There's a lot of things that light up under a black light, and I don't want to see any of it. Yeah. So if you're ever in a dark room and a <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny thin lightsaber floats towards you, mm -hmm. it could well be Zane. Yeah, or somebody mm. with one somebody tattooed who, on their penis. Yeah. That would be quite low down, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not higher up. Okay. So the next celebrity mm -hmm. who has a slightly iffy tattoo is Ariana Grande. Okay. Now, she, she has a tattoo that doesn't make sense, apparently. So she, she studies the Japanese language. Okay. Okay. And what she wanted to do was have a, a tattoo on her, in, in, on her palm mm -hmm. that said r seven rings in Japanese. Okay. Which After is a song. Yeah, is a reference to, to her song. However, when she had it done and she posted it on social media, her fans pointed out that the tattoo on her palm incorrectly said Shikrin, which translates to small barbecue grill. <laughs> 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 so she's got a small barbecue grill <laughs> on her palm. I love it. You'd think they would really check these out before they had them done. Well, that's all the stories about people that have had things like going to like soup on the road. It's like, oh, it says love in Chinese. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a slut. Um, so, um, she tried, apparently she tried to resolve the issue by adding some more characters to it, um, but it, it didn't technically fix the problem. Um, it, it, it's, so no matter what she's done to it, it still means Japanese barbecue finger. That's whatever she's done to it. That's, if you show it to a Japanese person, it looks like they say, oh, small barbecue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what else has she had to do? It's a small barbecue with prawns. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I don't know. My small barbecue needs cleaning. I don't know what it would be. Yeah. Um, so, so, you know, there's a theme. There's a theme. So got small barbecue. Outdoor use only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Don't touch it. It's hot. Um, Kendall Jenner. That, that, that well-known intellectual, Kendall Jenner, from the Jenner Kardashian families. Um, she, she didn't go for a regular tattoo. Okay. Um, she had the word meow tattooed on the inside of her lip. Um, can't necessarily say that, tell that it says the word meow. <laughs> um, apparently, she, she, she had it done when she was inebriated. Uh, literally, the first thing that came to mind was when they said, what would you like done? was the word meow. Um, okay. She said, I just know that my drunk thoughts are not things that should be followed. You see, I, if I was her, I'd have had mint cake added on it. I like where you're going. Like, what's your first thought? Mint cake. Yeah, what's your name, Kendall? Mint cake. <laughs> mint cake. <laughs> <Exactly>. um, <laughs> that made more sense than meow. Yeah. So, next bit of showbiz news mm -hmm. is about concerts. Okay. Now, majority of concerts have been put on hold due to the Rona. Yeah. When we, we, at the moment, we can't do concerts. Mm -hmm. However, a rock group in America called the Flaming Lips. The Flaming Lips. The Flaming Lips. I've never heard of the Flaming Lips. I've heard of Flaming Lips. Have you? Mm -hmm. You've had Flaming Lips. No, I haven't. No. No, no, no. Oh, no. But okay. I've heard of it. Well, they, they, they have performed a concert to their fans, mm. but everybody was encased in giant inflatable bubbles. OK. We've got a picture of it here. That <laughs> looks fun. So everyone so, at a concert looks fun. <laughs> so they're not there isn't um there isn't a huge amount of people there. Uh -huh. So there's just the band on stage and there's about 20 people in the audience. Okay. So it's not like an there's not like a, like a, an arena filled with people full of bubbles. Ah, oh, um, a little bit less exciting. Like. Yeah. Um but they it, they they thought that they would try it to see kind of what it would sound like and what it would be like. And apparently it was very successful. Okay. So they played from inside their inflatable bubbles mm -hmm. and each audience member was, was, was in their own individual bubbles. Okay. Um, and uh, so we've got, this is a picture of somebody who is inside a bubble, mm -hmm. taking a picture from inside, from out, for, yeah. It's all very sort of science fiction. Taking pictures of bubbles outside of a bubble. Outside of a bubble, yeah. Bubble. Um, 
and apparently they really enjoyed it. But it, so it wasn't a full concert because there's only so much oxygen <laughs> <laughs> inside a so bubble. There's no vents in there. No, you, it's kind of all sealed. So th it's it was it was about forty five. So they they played three songs right twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was the that was the, the amount of time that they were able to um, to to perform before the oxygen ran out and they died. Oh, um, okay. So um, w a, a guy that they interviewed before he went here. So after they came out, they interviewed him. He said that they were given. So each person was given two bottles of water mm -hmm. and a rag. That's just in case they really enjoyed the concert. Yeah, yeah. Now he's he thought that he thought good. That's great. It's something I can pee in. I think he means the bottles of water, not the rag. Right. Okay. Um, um, so, but. Apparently, the the if you get quite excited in <laughs> <laughs> in a bubble, uh -huh. as in physically jigging around to the music, <laughs> you will need a rag. Yeah, not yeah, cracking like... one off. It, right. it 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 steams up inside the the inside oh, yeah, mists up. Yeah. Right. Okay. So so you have to um you have to have the rag to kind of <laughs> to wipe <laughs> yourself. To come create a window for yourself. Um, um, so, so yeah, and he, he was saying that some people were dancing harder than other people, so they had to use their rag more. That is an excuse if ever I heard it. Yeah, I was really dancing, which is why my rag is absolutely sopping. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think on that note, I think, I think I'll bring the, the end of, to the showbiz news. I need to, to wipe my bubble with my rag. <laughs> It's the new euphemism. Well, thank you, Lee. It's always good to know what you can do with a rag inside a bubble. Coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. Don't go anywhere. I mean, you, sitting there at home, watching this nonsense. Stay right where you are, because after people have tried to sell you things, it's Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the person whose finger of fudge is just enough to give the kids a treat. It's Mike in the bus. <laughs> now, when I say kids, yeah. I don't mean kids. Right. I mean like the kids with a Z. Right, okay. Just right. to clarify that. <laughs> so you weren't talking about small goats? Yes. Yes, you were, or yes, yes. you weren't. Yes. Yes to everything. <laughs> That's what gets me in trouble. Well, I've been snooping around on the internet this week for you, Lee. God. Yes. Um, and I found across a post, someone asking a question into a Facebook group. So, you know, the Facebook groups where you've got the, oh, I, I'm trying to work out what this is, or can someone tell me the best way of fixing a light bulb, all that sort of thing. How can I kill my husband, those kind of things. That's that sort yeah. of thing, yeah. Uh, well, this Facebook group was an antique glass Facebook group. Oh, that's niche. Someone came across this solid glass piece and can't figure out what it was. Uh, <sighs> it's 4.5 inches tall, 1.5 diameters at the fat part, and 1.75 at the base. Oh. Any idea what that could be like? I, I would say that that is a decanter, the, the top a of, a, of a stop, yeah. A stopper. Yeah, that or a glass dildo. Um, it's, plug. It, it's a glass butt plug. Is it? It is a glass butt plug, yes. Oh, ooh. Um, there's, a horror, there's a kind of unpleasant brown tinge around <laughs> there. There is a tint to it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Just wash that in a bit of vinegar and soapy water and come right out. <laughs> <laughs> Experience there, Lee, of yep. cleaning butt plugs? Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so they had yes. no, they had no they, idea that it. That they was had no idea apparently that it was a butt plug, um, and so asked this this group of say of Deviant. antique glass, saying, "What's this supposed to be?" Oh, you see, to me that's a dangerous, dangerous substance to have one of those made out of. Really? Yeah. yeah. Solid glass is quite quite firm. He's talking from experience. Yes. What if you like trip and fall and then it will shatter inside your. <laughs> I don't really do much going about the day-to-day -day work life thing. Yeah, well, just, let's just set the scenario, shall okay, we? So see. you're at home, you're I'm deciding up. you're going to have a little bit of me time, you're going to get your, your crystal decanter butt plug out, uh -huh. and you're like, you sat there, do you sit down on it, or do you lie on your front? <laughs> I don't know these things. <laughs> 
educate me. <laughs> educate you. Okay. Do you lie on your front? I don't know. No, you sit on it. At whatever position you're in, <laughs> the doorbell goes and it's that Amazon delivery that you've been waiting for. Uh-huh. More butt plugs, probably. Yeah. Um, and you rush, you, you pull on a shroud. <laughs> shroud? <laughs> <laughs> Who's now? Mine or yours? It's mine, so it's the morgue. Um, you pull on, you know, a dressing <laughs> gown um, or a house coat, but you skid as you're going across your parquet flooring, okay. and you go right whoop in the air, mm -hmm. legs akimbo, psh, land on your coccyx, shattered. Okay. That's a very real thing. That's a very specific thing, Kelly. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Should we move on? Please. Okay. Um, do you know who Tyler Posey is? No. No. Um, should I? <laughs> you should, yes. Um, so he's, what, he's an actor from America. Okay. And he's done some of those, like, vampire movies. Okay. And TV shows. For children? But No, True Blood kind of thing. Oh, I like True Blood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, do, yes. Yeah, so do you know who, who Tyler Posey no. is? No. No? Have we got a photograph? We have got a photograph of him. Let's see. Um, that's him. No. No. Still don't know him. Still don't know him. No. Okay. Well, he, he was advertising his, his new movie that's coming out. Okay. Um, and he was out to the world. Send me a question, comments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and one of, his, one of his comments was, I would let Tyler Posey destroy my bussy. And he had to ask what that was. Oh, okay. Now, do you know what a bussy is? I'm assuming... That it's... Um, you use your glass butt plug for it. <laughs> yeah, it's your, your, your bum bum. Your bum bum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and in adult words, your backside. Your backside, <laughs> yes. <laughs> destroy my bum bum, daddy. I, st I, I, need to put, I need to destroy that DVD because <laughs> it's just ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's a bit of a story. So, as you've as you've seen, we've had a bit of a studio upgrade, um, and one of the monitors that we use here had a built-in DVD player, and um, apparently, uh, one of the, the guys in the gallery had left. Didn't know why, but a DVD had appeared in the DVD player. Mm. Um, Lee took it home and watched it, mm. um, and even did some commentary on it as well that he shared yeah. with us, mm -hmm. um, which I, I think we could share now. Nom, 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 nom. I could be in porn. <laughs> I've got like all the words. <laughs> Not physically, but I could like do voiceover. You could do the dubbing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you just need to learn yeah. like German and things. So yeah. You can double the oh, words. yeah. What was that accent? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Let's move on. Let's move on. We're going to talk about our, our shopping online again. Okay. okay, for the last time this week. Okay. Okay. So in the past weeks, we've looked at things like a mattress that you could yes. buy online. Yes, stained. Yeah. A stained mattress, yeah. Uh, well, I found some more fun things you can buy on the internet. Oh. By the way, that mattress is lovely. Is it? Is it yeah, I get a really good night's sleep on it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Which, which side do you have up, stained or the ripped? Oh, always the stained. Always the Brings stained. Brings me closer to that person. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for that tip. So, yeah, what, what else? <laughs> Let's have a look at the first one. So this is great for sandwiches, snacks, etc. A lightly used zipper still works. One dollar or best offer. Oh. Um, so a plastic bag. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> just withering looks. I just don't have any words to say. So that's a why sing, somebody would a singular think. bag. Because you can buy a whole box of them. Yeah, for they're coming like a bag. It's a box of a hundred. Yeah. Don't they? Mm-hmm. I mean, well, if it was a famous person's... Or it had, had something in it. Yeah, you know, like if, if that actor had, like, farted in it... OK. Then... <laughs> Callie Minogue sneeze. Well, Callie Minogue Yeah, had bre bre breathed in it. Yeah. Yeah, then it could be worth some money. Well, it'd have to be Adam Ricketts breath. Oh, uh, because he has to breathe again. Because he can breathe again. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> that's an up-to-date reference. Current reference of celebrity. <laughs> and the next thing you can purchase... For just $50, a tennis ball that's been left in the rain and has started to grow an unknown plant. Ooh. So it could be anything growing in that tennis ball. It could be anything. Yes. That could be the cure for COVID. It could be. Or it could just be like a dandelion. It could. But if you don't have a dream, 
How's a dream gonna come true? Um, and the next one is a gently squirted on couch. Oh. It's still soft, it doesn't smell anymore, and it's only squirted on, no skeet. Oh, so... <laughs> <laughs> so it's covered in Lady Jacklet. What is skeet? Gentleman ejaculate. Is that another American word? Okay. Yes. So a lady has uh, got excited, uh -huh. love juiced on it. Yes. They didn't think to wipe it up or yeah, anything. They, left it, left they just it. left it. Mm -hmm. And now they want some poor socket to buy it. Yes. But I've, I've, I've advertised that it's not got gentleman juice on there. <gasps> and she squirted on it gently. <laughs> she didn't like have a full angry orgasm I think on it. There's a lot of. I think that was an angry orgasm. To, yeah, I, I again. There's, there are there are people that would buy that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, wouldn't they? Especially because it doesn't smell anymore. So you know, you wouldn't need to get the Febreze on it. No, just some gasoline in a match. Mm. And if something makes you laugh so hard that your neighbours phone the police because they're worried about your safety, why not share it with us? Just look for The Could TV on all the usual social media platforms. So that's things like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Not on Snapchat, because we don't use that at all. Our inbox is waiting for you to fill it. And that's just what's happened this week when something popped through our letterbox. No, it wasn't the producer mistaking it for a glory hole. Again. It was a letter from Mrs Belinda Mycock. And she's in Cockermouth and says... Am I the only person sending in pictures for your Net of the Week competition? Here's one of the future Mr. Mycock. Oh, it's Joe Exotic. It's Joe Exotic, a.k.a. Hunger <laughs> Game! Um, well done, Belinda. I'm liking that. And that takes us to our story of the week. And that comes from the BBC. I do like the BBC. Yeah. Um, do you ever watch The Breakfast Weather? I do. What do you do? So you're aware of Carol Kirkwood? Yes. Yes. She's a lovely lady. Lovely lady. She did get a little bit flustered, though, which we can appreciate. Did she? Yes. Uh, when she was out on an outside broadcast and tried to say that it was filled, the park that she was in was filled with people walking their dogs and joggers. So what, what do you think happened? Um, she um, clubbed a small chihuahua to death with her microphone stand. That could be that. Or, actually what happened was, she said the word doggers. Oh. So the park was filled with people dogging. In the morning. Well. Which was brave. You know, it looked quite sunny, so you've got to yeah. take advantage of the weather. It, you've got to take advantage of the weather, but maybe daylight isn't your friend when doing illegal activities like that. Yeah. Um, and that's all from the buzz this week. Oh, well, thank you very much for that. That was informative and slightly arousing. After the break, it's our life lesson. Welcome back. It's time for... Life. Lessons. So this week, we're going to go a bit fruity. Oh, fruitier than normal. Fruitier than normal. Um, apparently, um, we have been eating fruits the wrong way. Oh. All the time that we have been eating fruits. Oh, OK. Yeah. So I'm not supposed to be sticking them where I've been sticking them. No. Now, I have hand protection. I don't need to put my, my yeah. hand protection on. Mm, Why do we need hand protection exactly? Because um, juice can be stingy. In... And you've seen my open wound. <laughs> yes, I have seen your your wound. We're gonna first. We're gonna talk about the pineapple. We're going to talk about the pineapple. We're gonna talk about the pineapple. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> <laughs> did you hear what it's been up? To? Oh, oh. No. Our, see, our pineapples. Oh, are people too? They've got they've got eyes. Googly eyes, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, apparently, there is a way of, t of telling if a if a pineapple is fresh, mm -hmm. ready ready to to ripe enough to eat. Okay. So apparently, you get one of its um, leaves mm -hmm. and you pull, and if it pulls out quite easily, like that did, okay, uh, then it's ripe and it's ready to eat. Okay. Okay. So top so, tip number one. So the pineapple is ready to eat, not the leaf. Don't eat the leaf. You can eat the leaf if you want to. I've never eaten a pineapple leaf. Mmm, roughage. 
Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Don't eat the pineapple leaves, they don't okay. taste good. How would you eat a pineapple? How would you prepare a pineapple? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd open up the tin. Okay. And then get a fork. Okay. And jab at the pieces and eat them. Oh, uh, I would normally just pick them off the pizza and then eat the pizza. Um, that's how I would prepare a, um, a, a, a pineapple. But apparently, the kind of way of cutting the top off and then sort of disemboweling the core and then cutting them into rings, it's just so last year. See, my mum has a gadget where you cut the top off and you screw. And you screw okay. it and it creates a, a spiral of pineapple. Oh, and does that work? Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay. Well, for people that don't have one of those, mm -hmm. then apparently, this is the way to eat your pineapple. Okay. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to slice the top off the pineapple. Okay. So, lay it on its side mm -hmm. and um, kind of all the leafy bit and then a little bit of the top. Okay, so, so we're going to remove the leafy bit and the top. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, we've decapitated the pineapple. Mm -hmm. You can wear that on your head. Have a little hat. Yeah. Fascinator, off of the races. Yeah. Mm hmm Apparently, mm. what you do is how you eat, you don't do anything else. How you eat them is you manhandle a segment okay. out of the side. And apparently it's really, really easy. So you just kind of get your thumbs in and <laughs> juice goes everywhere. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Do you think we need? Do you think we need to cut the top a little bit more? Um, I'm just going to. I'm going to just just separate a segment out a little bit. I think. Just now, when I watched this on YouTube, it it was amazing. So I'm oh, gonna, oh 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 oh. <gasps> Did it do it? That's yes. A, a little piece came out. A little bit, and then you can just eat it like a little nugget. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! Yeah, look! Mmm! Mm. I'm... It works! <laughs> Does it? Not really. Um, I don't think that is the way to eat pineapple. It's not easy. I'm not 100% convinced. I think I will carry on um, buying it pre-prepared. Yeah, it is tin. Yeah, or a plastic container. Oh, I've got juice on my chin. So, um, that was the first one. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it a fail. Okay, we're gonna call that a fail. Cool, we'll call it a fail, and, and the internet lied. Um, it didn't happen properly. So, um, oranges, next. Um, apparently we've been eating them wrong. Apparently the old way of kind of getting your thumb in there and peeling it round mm. is, is, that's not what you do. Okay. So, um, what you do is, you get your orange, and you cut a, a piece from the top mm. and a piece from the bottom. So you're making it like flat. Okay. So. Piece from the top. Piece from the bottom. Okay. So you kind of like de- Christmas. De, mm, de roundified it. And then what you're going to do is. De roundified, de -roundified it. Um, <laughs> that's a technical term. Um, you're going to make an incision mm -hmm. um, across, diagonally across. Okay. Not too deep, but just to cut the, cut the skin. Okay. Not okay. too deep, he says. Not too deep. <laughs> so then you're going to get it in front of you. Uh huh. Okay. Imagine that it's um, a posterior. Okay. A, a bum bum. A bum bum. Bum bum. Okay. And what you do is apparently you're going to get your, get your fingers like a, like a crabby fingers. Crabby mm -hmm. fingers, crabby fingers. And you get them either side of the, the, the slit that you've made. Uh huh. Okay. And then you pull it outwards and it makes all the segments separate. <sighs> oh. And then you said <laughs> you just put your face in and eat it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, actually, to be chin. fair, this one is, is better than the. Um, <laughs> I oh, can't get it out. A bit wet in my eye. Oh. I've got rubber gloves on and, and they desensitizing my fingers. Um, but if I didn't have rubber gloves on, then I would be able to get the flesh out of the orange. 
It looks like a monkey trying to eat its food. I'm like mashing it. Um, or you could just peel them normally like you would do. You enjoying that? I am. Hmm. Vitamin C is important during COVID. You don't want to get scurvy. Which is a, a big factor. Yep. Um, <laughs> ah. oh. It keeps squirting, oh, really. So, kind of works. Yeah, hang on, okay. I'm gonna take my rubber gloves off because I need I need full sensation. You need your full dexterity. I, need, I do. Ooh, da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Oh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> It's easier if you pull up from the bottom. Oh, okay. I was trying to be sensual. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> How's that working? <laughs> no, not really. I'm trying to be uh, sensual, slapping myself. In <laughs> People will pay good money for that on yeah. sites. So we're go we're going to kind of move the orange out of the way. Um, none of this fruit will go to waste. No, um, because we Wait, will so make it into a large cocktail. Yes. Um, I'm just going to I'm just going to dab my um, my work surface, my yeah. work surface. So strawberries. Mm -hmm. We have some strawberries in these little cups. Um, with the little, cute little feet on them. So, strawberries. What a pain in the arse is it trying to eat them normally? What? Because what is the sticky bit, the, 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 the leafy bit at the end? You just, it's just no good to anybody, really. <laughs> yeah. But then you're left with the leafy bit. Yeah. So, okay. What you're going to do is you're going you're to take a straw. So you're saying that after I've just swallowed that strawberry, Mm -hmm. What I'm going to be left with this way mm -hmm. is less than that. No. Okay. Slightly more, but more, <laughs> <laughs> but more fun. Oh, right, okay. So this is more fun. Than more fun. Right, okay. So, you take a straw, mm -hmm. make it, a, make it a re either a recyclable straw or one that you can use, you know, a metal mm -hmm. one. Okay. Yeah. So, you're going to get your straw, get your strawberry, yeah. and stick the strawberry on the end of the, oh, so its bottom, so up from its bottom. Okay. Right? And you're going to push it, and then as you push it, when it reaches the top, <gasps> look. Oh, oh, daddy. Um, so yeah, you can discard that bit. Okay. You can you can eat it if you want to. Oh, I've eaten it. Um, so you will have a strawberry that has a hole through the middle. Okay. So, I have provided you with a little plastic bag, which I'm going to sell on the internet afterwards, mm -hmm. um, that, it, that contain syringes. Okay. Inside those syringes is my poop. No, it's not. Okay. Inside those syringes is chocolate. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, you're going to insert yep. the, the um, end of your syringe mm -hmm. into the hole okay. of your strawberry. At the bottom? Yep. I'm filling it up from the bottom. Yeah, from the bottom. Right. And squirt, not very fast, because you don't want the, the chocolate to spurt out over the top. Oh. Oh, oh no. You, mm. I've over spurted. Because it's now a strawberry filled with chocolate. Oh! <gasps> but I've still got a bit of green on the top of mine. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Oh my god. Just going to repeat it. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Totally welcome. That brings us to the end of this week's show. We've got just enough time to say find us on your social media platforms. Look for The Could TV and on our website, which is thecud.tv. And while you're there, have a look at our support section. And that's got extra content, including outtakes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye! Bye!